We will now follow the processing of copper concentrate. Process. The concentrate is first dried in this large rotating dryer and then sent into a dryer, then transferred to storage bin. This concentrate contains a large percentage of iron and sulfur, which is removed in the flash smelting process. oxygen ignites the sulfur, and the heat created melts the concentrate which settles into the matte slag bath in the furnace. oxygen and temperatures over 2,400 degrees separate it into three products. Gases, which contain sulfur, slag, which is mostly silica and iron, and copper combined with sulfur called matte, which is 70% copper. The sulfur dioxide generated is high strength gas, which is cooled, cleaned, and delivered to our new sulfur products area where it is converted to sulfuric acid or liquid SO2 for market. And slag floating on top, which are transported to the slag dump on Inco's own rail system. The mat, which is tapped from the sides of the furnace into 25 ton ladles to be transferred to the next step in the operation. The furnace mat is transferred from the furnaces by crane to the next processing step, the converters. In these vessels, Air is blown through the bath. A good portion of the sulfur is removed, and the balance of the iron is skimmed off as slag. This slag is transferred back to the flash smelting furnaces to recover any remaining metal. The mat, which is now iron free, the semi blister copper is transferred to finishing vessels to remove any remaining impurities. The final product is a 98% blister copper, which is transported by hot metal car copper refinery, where pure copper is produced. The sulfur dioxide is cleaned in the off-gas circuit before being sent to the sulfur products area. The high-strength sulfur dioxide produced in the smelting process is transferred to the sulfur products area to produce four products, liquid sulfur dioxide, and three types of sulfuric acid of various strengths. Liquid SO2 is produced by compressing the gas and removing the heat, producing a liquid. It is then stored and sold to our customers as bleaching agents, food preparation, and so on. In the acid plant, the gas passes through a series of towers and heat exchangers to convert the SO2 gas to SO3. The SO3 gas is then passed through absorbing towers to produce a 93% or 98% strength acid. Before being pumped to the storage tanks, the acid passes through a stripper to remove any SO2 gas contained. This SO2 gas is returned to the beginning of the circuit. So that virtually all gases that are released during smelting are captured. The gases are cooled, cleaned, and converted into sulfuric acid that is sold for use in farming and industry. This technology makes for the cleanest smelting process in the world. Copper refinery, where pure copper is produced. This is an anode furnace where blistered copper is refined into high quality anode copper, which is 99% 
pure copper suitable for anode casting. anode preparation and anode scrap handling machines are manufactured to the highest standards. These copper anodes are transported to the cathode refinery. Refining starts when automated laser guided vehicles take these racks of anodes over to cranes which pick them up and lower them into an acid solution. In this refining process, the stainless steel cathodes are positioned in the acid solution tank in such a way that each stainless steel cathode come after other copper anode. Based 100% on reusable stainless steel cathode plates was first developed and introduced to the world in the mid-team over almost three decades since its inception in process control and monitoring systems as well as cathode tracking systems which allow automatic detection of the stainless steel cathodes when they eventually require maintenance. Pushing an electrode handling machinery service facility in South America. Their engineers efficiently repair damaged plates and also they restore the copper coating of the hanger bars should the need arise. This will not only restore the cathode plate efficiency but also improve it significantly over and above that of the original. An electric current is sent between the anodes and the interleaved stainless steel blanks known as cathodes. For 10 days, the copper ions migrate from the anode to the cathode, forming a plate of 99.99% pure copper. An anode will produce two cathodes, each weighing about 300 pounds. These copper cathodes are washed and then stripped from the starter sheets. They are... Their cathode plate processing capacity ranges from as low as 20 plates per hour up to an impressive 650 plates per hour. The stainless steel cathode technology in today's increasingly competitive world. Product. The cathodes are tested for quality and purity, corrugated and bundled for market. Which are of smooth appearance and are easily stacked into neat bundles of consistent size and weight ready for transport.
every 1,000 pounds of copper produced, the precious metals refinery makes about an ounce of gold and six ounces of silver as byproducts. This amounts to about 4 million ounces of silver and about 450,000 ounces of gold.